So here we go, uh, a new helicopter on the market. Uh, this is a naval helicopter SH-60 that comes with everything in the box. You need to get it flying less the four AA's you need to put in the transmitter. This flies more like a drone than a helicopter, I would, I would say, uh, because it is it takes a lot of the hard work and, and skill out of flying an RC helicopter. There's quite a, a few of this type of helicopter out there now, but this one is a, a fantastic naval helicopter scheme. So look at the detail on this. You've even got the refueling boom on the front. You've got a light on the front as well that you connect up to the battery after you've put it in and a nice scheme from, from front to back. Four blades and you've got a four blade tail rotor as well. You get, uh, I think you can select the number of batteries that you want but mine came with two extra batteries as well as the one that's in this now. You get spare main blades, you get a spare tail rotor, you get spare wheels uh, as well. So what does this do? So it's uh, for outside we've got a GPS mode so that it can use GPS to lock uh, its location but you can fly indoors and use the sensor underneath to do the same thing. It will also fly in a circle by flicking a switch or in a figure eight. So clever stuff. So let's uh, get it in the air and see how it flies. Okay so Jason is gonna fly this for me. Gonna go yeah. Certainly very competent with, uh, more competent than I am with RC helis aren't you Jay? I've yeah. flown a few for, for me over the years. Flown a few, yeah. So, uh, I don't know the arming procedure though, because it's not normal. All oh, right, so arming procedure to get it spun up is both sticks down and outside. So I'll just give Jay uh, okay, so a... It's in manual mode now. Oh, really? All yeah. straight away? So how is that different to the auto mode that it was in? Not sure yet. <laughs> it's a little bit more responsive. You still can't sort of flip upside down or anything. It's no. quite stable. I think there is a specific... Uh, key combination to be able to do that. Let's try it back in. Okay, so that, the auto is kind of holding it really steady. So it's like a position hold. Ah, oh, I gotcha. Position yeah. hold, okay. So, so it kind of locks just, with GPS. speed in auto as well. Oh. But if I just let go, it's, I'm not touching the sticks now. Is it? Is it? It's holding its own sort of position. Oh, okay. Yeah. Even in this little bit of wind. Yeah. Uh huh. If I flick it into manual. It will drift. It drifts away. See it drifting away there. Okay. So it's a little bit more lively in manual. Not that you fly a scale model too lively anymore. Do you want to bring it back, put it in auto, and do those on the left upper? switch you've got the ability to fly a circuit or a figure yeah. eight. Oh nice. So, so I'll put it in boom first and then I'll choose figure eight. So I hold it in figure eight. Yes you do. Oh do you? Yeah. You have to hold it what is it holding this? It's like a momentary switch. So oh, yeah. I'm now holding it. If I let go of figure eight. Oh no, it carries on. Okay, you have to flick it and release hold, it. Yeah, you have to sort of hold it for a, a second or two then. And then I don't know how you cancel it. So I'll just move the stick. So should we try a circle? Yeah. So 
just in a side on circle. Okay. Oh, okay, sort of nose in. Nose in, yeah. Do you know what the danger button does? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It does have a rocket launcher on the side. Yeah. Should we try it? I, I, I no, because you know what I reckon that does. That's a, probably a kill switch. Oh, it could be. Yeah, you could be right. Jeez, yeah. man, don't do that. Yeah, you could be right. Guaranteed way to break the uh, fragile landing gear. All right, so I mean, it's pretty stable, isn't it? There's a little Very bit of stable, wind. Yeah. It's got a fair bit of power when you need it as well. So if you, if you punch the power. Come back down again. And it has got an auto land feature as well. All right, do you want to bring it over the so pad we'll, and... Uh... We'll try it. Click the switch now. I thought that was a button on the screen. Uh, it's a switch. Ah. There is also a button on the screen. Well, it's landing. Let's see if it cuts. Oh, it does. Nice. Yeah, it did. And how far away from the uh, it's couple a couple of meters, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. So it is extremely easy to fly. It doesn't fly as you say like a traditional helicopter. No. Um, it's very much flies like a drone, like a like a DJI drone. Yeah. Um, so you can just take your hands off sticks. Um, you don't need to be able to fly remote control helicopters to fly this one. So uh, great for beginning. And I think somehow you said that there is a way of there's a high and low button and some other modes. So maybe we'll give we'll a try, try that on the second video. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching Essential RC. The link for this is in the video description and pinned comment. We'll be back soon. Bye.